Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into the Full Boost Tech Files. I'm Paul from MrParts.com.au and Rotary Race Cars. We caught up with John Blanche from Microtech AFI recently just to give us an overview of some of the newest and latest products in their lineup. Alright, so I'm here with John from Microtech. We're going to have a look at the Pro Boost Microtech Boost Controller, which is brand new. Yeah, right? So, John, do you want to tell us a bit about the Boost Controller? The Pro Boost Controller is our first Boost Controller that we've done. It's a timer based Boost Controller. It's got 16 programmable stages, all done by time. Yep. Um, the beauty of our Boost Controller is it works on a target boost closed loop system. So, the end user he can program in an actual boost number. For example, 40 pounds, if he wants to run 40 pounds boost, he puts 40 pounds into the program and the controller will boost that 40 pounds. It makes it a lot simpler and a lot easier for guys to use. Everybody knows how much boost they want to run. Um, and if they can put that target number in there, the controller will chase it. It's got an increase and a decrease solenoid. So it's working on the top side of the wastegate. Um, it can be used for off boost pressure, like using a the the manifold. Okay, so this would basically simulate if you were on the two-step or if you were at a trans brake button. The boost controller has got a separate launch setting or two-step setting. Um, auto or manual, it doesn't matter. This would be set off a clutch pedal in a manual car or off the trans brake switch in a automatic car. Uh, the moment you press the two-step button, it will go to its separate two-step boost setting which is a separate stage inside the controller so you've got a separate adjustment for how much boost the car is going to make when it is on the two-step or a trans brake on an auto car and the moment you let off that switch that's when the timer starts so I've got pre-programmed into the unit now a target boost setting of 40 psi and you'll see the moment I let my hand off the button, it will go through the stages and the controller itself will go up and it'll chase its target of 40 psi. Yeah, perfect. Now in that time, we've seen in the three second time period, that's gone through 16, 16 separate boost stages in that time. So these are some of the uh, features and, and add-ons that you have for the uh, Microtech LTC uh, Pro Dash and the, and the standard dash. Uh, we've already got the wideband, the CAN hub and the EGT, but this is something new here, the Import 8. Uh, you want to tell us a bit about, about this? Yeah, the Import 8's just been released a week or two ago. It, like all these other components you see, it connects in by the CAN hub. The Input 8 is an 8 channel auxiliary sensor add-on box, you might want to call it. It's got the ability to do 8 extra sensor inputs. You've got 2 RPM based ones, 4 pressure and 2 temperature sensor inputs. They all wire in through the box itself and all the sensor data is then transmitted via the CAN network into the CAN hub and then back to the LTC dash. But the, the biggest thing that we've been using this dash for lately is uh, standalone tuning. So we actually use the wide band, the LSU 4.9 sensor and the Microtech LTC dash to road tune and check tunes on cars. But this uh, Import 8 box will actually allow, say, a carburetor car uh, to, to be a complete standalone data logger, isn't that right? Yeah, that's right, Broomy. You can use the Input 8, the CAN hub, and the dash unit and have a eight channel standalone data logging unit that can be used in any type of vehicle. Uh, it doesn't need to be connected to a Microtech ECU anymore for it to work. This, uh, this dash is, is really great, but I heard you've got a brand new one that's coming out very soon, so uh, let's go check that out. You can explain a bit more about the LTC Pro Dash. No worries. All right, so here we are, the LTC Pro Dash from Microtech. As you can see, the screen is much, much larger, um, but not just that, let's uh, run through a few of the extra features that this dash can, uh, that can have only a uh, more compact one. We've incorporated turn signal indicators um, and high beam indicator and an odometer into this unit. So those three features allow the dash to be ADR compliant. So guys who have a street car where they've removed their factory dash, the Microtech Pro Dash will allow them to have just that dash mounted and they won't need any other any other components, any other gauges, and the car will be able to be engineered and street legal. Well, not only is it a display dash, it has a 32 channel data logger built into the unit. It comes with the GPS module, which allows you to do road speed. It's got an inbuilt 
lap timer for circuit races and an inbuilt quarter mile timer via GPS for the drag race guys. The dash itself has got a, a warning menu and an alarm menu so you can set warnings and alarms for each sensor that you're monitoring so you can set maximum limits if any of those limits are reached as you'll see come up on the dash that particular function for example the water temperature it will turn red and it will bring a warning up down in the bottom screen to let you know check the engine and it's the water temperature that's got the problem Right, so something new else we spotted on the stands, the LT32C. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about this one, John's uh, codename Big Bertha at the moment? You see. That's right, this is our Big Bertha. We've named it Big Bertha for the simple reason it is a quite a big ECU. It's got 16 high output injector drivers in it, which is overkill for most people, but a lot of these methanol guys with the massive big injectors and they're running multiple stages that are trying to push for the five second zone, they need that many drivers. And it's got eight ignition outputs. It's got eight digital inputs for speed, for example, tail shaft, front wheel speed, etc. Um, it's got a 90 PSI map sensor, eight analog inputs for pressure sensors, so your engine protection mode can all be run through the ECU and have the various sensor inputs to trigger that if anything happens to go wrong. We've got two can outputs, uh, and we're also going to incorporate the boost controller and uh, traction control into this unit as well. Yeah, no worries. So has uh, this unit been doing some testing out in the field? You got some cars? We have got a few cars running this ECU now. Um, we've got a couple of um, yeah, local races trying it out this weekend. We expect this one to be released. Also. They're ready for sale now. Um, we're just making them in small batches because it's not going to be an ECU that's suitable for. for for everybody, um, but for the guys that do need it and do need all those injected drivers and uh, pushing the limits up around 90 pounds of boost, that's the unit for them. Yeah, no worries. All right, guys, so if you've got a high power methanol drag car and uh, you need a Microtech ECU for the job, contact your nearest Microtech dealer and uh, get onto the LT32C.